Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Nick Smith here. Uh, just got done with watching Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I'm doing a movie day today. I've already done, I've already seen Harley Quinn Birds of Prey. Expect for that review to come out. Um, so, Sonic the Hedgehog. What, what can you say? It's a movie about Sonic the Hedgehog, the classic Sega character. Um, of course they do the whole entire movie of where, you know, he's not originally from the, this planet and he comes to ours. And, you know, he's just like been living on, he's been living on the Earth. You know, and he eventually does come into human contact. Of course, though, like, throughout this whole entire movie, I'm thinking, okay, how is it that he has not been spotted by literally anybody? Of course, though, so anybody here who knows Sonic would be like, well, you know, he's fast. So, but I mean, I feel like this would be easily be spottable, you know, because he's talking to himself outside of a window, and you figure people would hear that, and they would turn around and see him, or... You know, I, I, I know what it is, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, Sonic the Hedgehog is a blast of a movie. It knows what it is. Everyone involved seems to be having a good time. So, okay, Jim Carrey as Dr. Eggman Robotnik, holy crap, mother of all. He was my favorite part of this entire movie, of course, so I like Jim Carrey. Spank you. Spank you, Nick. Spank you very much. I absolutely love Jim Carrey. I haven't seen him in any movies in a while, and a majority of the reason why I wanted to go watch this movie was to see Jim Carrey, but also I only played one Sonic game when I was a kid. I remember the Sonic cartoon, so you know, I was wondering, okay, well, are they going to do the Chaos Emeralds? Are we going to get maybe Super Sonic? Or I was even wondering later on during the movie, was Dr. Eggman going to be able to create uh, one of the Sonic robots? I kind of figured he wouldn't do Super uh, Metal Sonic, because I figured that would be, you know maybe somewhere else on the line. I hope that we get a sequel to this movie. I really hope we do. You know, it, it's the average, you know, buddy movie, you know, where you get the guy who meets the creature and, like, you know, has to take him on an adventure. And, you know, they, they eventually, uh, eventually he grows to like him. Like, you know, they become friends. You know, Sonic gets his own family. Uh, I'm honestly wondering if we do get a sequel. Apparently there was rumors that Tails was supposed to be in the movie, and I was like, you know, sitting there waiting. I was like, okay, well, when are we going to get Tails? Because I've heard Tails was supposed to be in this movie. But no such luck. The introduction to Dr. Robotnik was great. He doesn't spot his um, look from the game or um, the animated series until further on during the movie, and we see his robots, and you can tell Jim Carrey is just having it up with his facial expressions, how he talks to people. The characters are great. I, I absolutely adored this movie. I know what it is. It's a really fun popcorn movie. It is a roller coaster. It's something you can have fun with, whether you're with your friends or your family, or even like with your kids or your nieces or your nephews or your baby cousins or even your dog. Yes, even your dog will like Sonic the Hedgehog. Guys, I'm going to give Sonic the Hedgehog a B. I enjoyed this movie. A nice candy popcorn flick. It's something that I can sit in and have fun. Of course, so everybody watching this is probably, well, Nick, you like bad movies. So, of course, you'd enjoy this. It also does a really awesome opening that makes you feel like you're playing a video game. Or it's an, it's an homage to the video game with the rings. And uh, it's got like this, um, this homage to Sega. And I thought that was really cool. It's also got the the, the Sega music. And like, whenever you played a Sega game, it would always start out with Sega. And I thought that was great. It brought me back to my childhood. It's a ridiculous movie, but it's something you are absolutely going to enjoy. Unless you just hate video games. I would say this is probably my favorite video game movie. Other than Mortal Kombat... Assassin's Creed was okay until it showed the whole scenes with the animus. But I'm not going to get into that. Guys, put in the comments below, what did you think about Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh, there is also a great homage to Quicksilver. I feel like that this movie is basically what we would get if Quicksilver was by himself from the X-Men movies. Not the Marvel movies. But, like I said, guys, if you've seen Sonic the Hedgehog, put in the comments below, what did you think about it? I absolutely enjoyed it. I really know what you guys want to think, guys. Give this video a like. I'm going to take a break before I go watch The Gentleman. I'm doing a movie day. I have had such a blast. Stay tuned because I'm going to be talking about Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. Oh my gosh, Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. That's going to be interesting. See you soon, guys.